Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all here in our channel Best Notes Tutorials and uh, today I have an announcement for you all and that is regarding English Writers PDF. If you wish you can contact us in the number which is given in the channel regarding all the writers work okay and their details about the work as well so if you are interested do let us know do message in the comment section for today we are going to do WB Yeats MCQs let's begin question number one which famous poet contributed to the script option a Seamus Hine option B T S Eliot Option C. George Bernard Shaw. Option D. W. B. Yeats. So here your answer is W. B. Yeats. Yeats was the famous poet who contributed to the script. William Butler was an Irish poet and one of the foremost figures of 20th century literature. In 1923 he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. William Butler Yeats was born in Sandy Mount in Country, Dublin, Ireland. His father was John Butler Yeats. Question number two. Who wrote Kathleen's Dialogue? Option A. Yeats. Option B. Auden. Option C. Shaw. And option D. Gregory. Here, your answer is Yeats. Yeats wrote Kathleen's Dialogue William Butler was an Irish poet and one of the foremost figure of 20th century literature. Okay friends, this we have already discussed. So we will move to question number 3. Where does the play take place? Option A. England Option B. Scotland Option C. America and Option D. Ireland so here your answer is Ireland. The play take place takes place in Ireland. Let's see the highlighters. Kathleen Ni Holihan is one of one act play written by W. B. Yeats and Lady Gregory in 1902. It was first performed on 2nd April of that year and first published in the October November. October number of Sam Hain. Question number four. With whom did he collaborate on the script? Option A. George Bernard Shaw. Option B. Lady Augusta Gregory. Option C. W. H. Auden. And option D. T. S. Eliot. So here your answer is Lady Augusta Gregory which is option B. He collaborated with Lady Augusta in order to complete script. Kathleen Ni Holihan is a one-act play written by W. B. Yeats and Lady Gregory in 1902. It was first performed on 2nd April of that year and first published in the October-November of Samhain. October number of Sam Hain. Question number five. In what year is the play set? 1759, 1776, 1801 and 1798. Here your correct answer is option D. 1798. Question number, uh, let's see the highlighters. First performance performances at the Abbey Theatre. The play was performed in this theatre, Abbey Theatre. The play centres on 1798 Rebellion. So here it talks about 1798 Rebellion. The play is set in Kilala 1978. Let's move to the question let's move to question number six. Who is the mother in the play? Delia, Kathleen. Margaret, 
Brigitte. Here, the answer is Brigitte. Let's see the highlighters. Mother to Michael and Patrick. Brigitte is a hard-working and opinioned woman. Question number seven. Who is the father? Option A, Michael. Option B, Patrick. Option C, Peter. Option D, John. Your correct answer is Peter. Highlighter says, Peter is a farmer in country Mayo and the father of Michael and Patrick. He is very excited about Dahlia Cahill's dowry as it will enable him to purchase much livestock for their land. Money is his main concern which is further shown when he reluctantly offers the old woman a shilling and is taken aback by her refusal. Question number 8. How old is Patrick? Option A. 12. Option B. 7. Option C. 13. And Option D. 10. Correct answer is 12. Patrick is the 12-year-old son of Peter and Brigitte. Even though he only appears briefly towards the end, he serves a vital role in the narrative. Question number 9. When was the Circus Animals Desertion published? 1939, option A. 1901, option B. 1989, option C. And 1970, 17, option D. Correct option is 1730. The Circus Animals Desertion is a poem by William Butler Yeats, published in Last Poems in 1939. It was probably written between November 1937 and September 1938. The poem is an Ottawa rima consisting of three parts. The first of the last with eight lines, each and Second contains three stanzas of eight lines. Question number 10. How many poems are in the rows? 10, 22, option C, 45 and option D, 32. Correct answer is 22. 22 poems are in the rows. The rows is a collection of 22 poems that W. B. Yeats published in 1893. It was only his second lyrical collection but contains many of his famous mythological poems. Question number 11. Which theatre did Yeats help open? Option A. Gate Theatre. Option B. Gate Theatre. Option C. Abbey Theatre. And Option D. Pico Theatre. So here, correct answer is Abbey Theatre. Let's see the highlighters. William Butler Yeats was an Irish poet and uh, one of the foremost figures of 20th century literature. A pillar of the Irish literary establishment, he helped to found the Abbey Theatre and in his later years served two terms as Senator of Irish Free State. Let's move to question number 12 now. From which poem are these last four lines? Option, okay, let me read out the lines. Have you made greatness your companion, although it be for children that you shy? These are the clouds above, about the fallen sun, the majesty that shuts his burning eye. Here your options are option A, no second Troy. Option B, all things can tempt me. Option C, these are the clouds. And option D, against unworthy praise. Here your correct answer is option C. That is, these are the clouds. These four lines are extracted from these are the clouds. Let's see the highlighters. 
in the seventh line of this poem and therefore friend if you if your great race were run yeats referred to his friend lady gregory she and yeats first met on a visit to lady gregor's sorry gregory's neighbor edward martin the friendship between the three led to the founding of the irish literary theater in 1899 let's move to question number 13 from which poem is this the first verse let me read out once more the storm is howling and half hid under this cradle hood and coverlid my child sleeps on there is no obstacle but gregory's wood and one bare hill thereby the haystack and a roof leveling wind bread on the atlantic can be stayed and for an hour i have walked and prayed because of the great gloom that is on my mind your options are a prayer for my daughter option b an image from a past life option c towards break of day option d the stolen child here your correct answer is option a these lines are extracted from a prayer for my daughter let's see the highlighters a prayer for my daughter was written for his daughter any butler yeats was born in 1919 Her mother George Hydlees was 24 when Yeats proposed. They had met through occult circles. Here we find Annie Butler Yeats who was the daughter of W B Yeats is mentioned here. Question number 14 from which poem are these lines? swear by what the sages spoke round the mariotic lake that the witch of atlas knew spoke and said the cocks a crow let's see the options option a vacillation option b the black tower option c under ben bulben option d why not should old men be mad here your option c is under ben bulben from where the extract is given let's see the highlighters the final passage of this poem is cut on yeats gravestone it reads cast a cold eye on life on death horseman pass by here these are the lines which are engraved on the tombstone of w b yeats okay and these are from the poetry under ben bulben okay this might come in the examination question please remember question number 15 these lines are taken from which poem around me the images of 30 years an ambush pilgrims at the water side casement upon trial half hidden by the bars guarded griffins starring is hysterical pride kevin o higgins countenance and wears a gentle questioning look that cannot hide a soul incapable of remorse or rest a revolutionary soldier kneeling to be blessed your options are option a those images option b the statue option c a model for the laureate option d the municipal gallery revisited here the poem from where these lines are extracted are a sorry is the municipal gallery revisited let's see the highlighters The Municipal Gallery Akka Hug Lane Municipal Gallery is an art gallery founded by the Dublin City Council which is located in Charlemont 
House, Dublin. The poem describes Yeats' reaction to certain paintings by Sir John Lavery, Sean Keating, J. S. Sargent, his own father, and others. Question number sixteen. From which poem have these lines been taken? Let me read out these lines. A sudden blow, the great wings beating still, above the staggering girl, her thighs caressed, by the dark webs, her nape caught in his bill. He holds her helpless breast upon his breast. Your options are among school children, All Souls Night, option C Sailing to Byzantium, option D Leda and the Sound Swan. So here these lines are taken from the Leda uh, and the Swan. Highlighter says, this poem is based on the Greek myth in which Leda was. ravished by jews in the form of a swan as a result of this coupling the twin the twins helen and pollux were born this poem recalls the trojan war that rose from helen's beauty and the murder of agamemnon by his wife question number 17 this is the first stanza from which poem with the old kindness the old distinguished grace she lies her lovely piteous head amid dull red hair propped upon pillows rog on the pallor of her face she would not have us sad because she is lying there and when she when she meets our gaze her eyes are lofter lit her speech a wicked tale that we may vie with her matching our broken hearted wit against her wit thinking of saints and of petronius our beater your options are the people option b upon a dying lady option c a deep swan vow option d the wild swans at cool so here option b is correct that is upon a dying lady is the poem from where these lines are extracted highlighters this lovely poem was inspired by the actress mrs mabel wright who died of cancer in 1916 mabel wright was close to her brother obre Beardsley she later married actor John sorry George Beale right These are the first few lines from which of Yeats works Let me read out I know that I shall meet my fate somewhere among the clouds above those that I fight I do not hate those that i god i do not love here poetry's name option a in memory of major robert gregory option b on being asked for a war poem option c the cold heaven option d an irish airman forces his death here forces his death sorry an irish airman forces his death So here, option D is correct. From where these four lines are extracted. Let's see the highlighters. The airman in this poem is actually the Major Robert Gregory, seen in the title, in memory of Major Robert Gregory. He died on twenty third January nineteen hundred and eighteen in Italy, at the age of thirty seven, when an Italian pilot mistakenly shot him down. William Robert Gregory was the only child of William Henry Gregory and Lady Gregory. He was an associate of Yeats and his death had a lasting effect on the poet, becoming 
the subject of no less than four of his poems. These includes the two already mentioned and also Shefford and Gothard and Reprisal. Let's move to the next question, question number 19. Question number 19. These lines come from which of Heath's short works? Dance there upon the shore. What need do you have to care? For wind, for wind or water's roar. Here your options are In memory of Major Robert Gregory. Option B. On being asked for a war poem. Option C. The cold heaven. And option D. To a child dancing in the wind. Correct answer is option D. To a child dancing in the, in the wind. Let's see the highlighters. The child re referred to in this short poem is Ishwelt and daughter of Mode Gone. Yit had a complex relationship with both these women. Yit and Gon first met in 1840, 1886. Over the years, Yitz became obsessed with her beauty and her outspoken manner and she later came to have a significant effect on his poetry. Yitz went on to propose to Gon five times over a number of years. She rejected everyone. The last proposal came in 1916 when Yeats was 51 and quite determined to settle down and produce an ear. A few months later, he then proposed to Iswelt and was also rejected. The September, he proposed to George Hadley's and the rest is history. Friends, by this we have completed W.B. Yeats MCQs as well. And if you want all the writers work in one PDF, just drop a message to us or make a call to the number which is flashing in front of you. We will meet in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.